Hey everybody, Jeremy from Blockchain WTF here, and today we're going to go over one of the most anticipated decentralized application that already has millions of dollars being staked on the outcome of various events, and that's Augur. Augur just launched their mainnet and they are a completely decentralized prediction market. So yes, you can get rewarded monetarily in cryptocurrency for predicting events correctly. Now the idea behind Augur is really interesting. We have so-called experts, but the problem with these experts is they tend to be really bad at forecasting these events. Here's some wind, here's some temperature, 20s. Feels like 19 or feels like 70, I don't know. But interestingly enough, there is a source that has proved more accurate than even these experts. And that's the collective prediction of the masses. You see, the more people you ask, the more accurate the collective prediction turns out to be. So it's actually you or rather the group that you're a part of, you're in their opinions, that have proved to be more accurate than those experts. The more people you ask, the more accurate a prediction you'll receive. So it's a great way to predict future events. Just ask a bunch of people. It's also a great way to access the collective brain of all users to figure out a probability of an event occurring. So Augur might seem a little abstract at this point, but don't worry, we will walk you through it from download to even creating your own market. One thing that you're going to need if you're going to use Augur and you want to follow along with this tutorial is MetaMask. MetaMask is a browser extension that allows your browser to interact with decentralized applications. It can also function as a wallet for Ether. We actually have a little MetaMask tutorial, click that link down below if you're interested in that. But in short, MetaMask is like the bridge you need in order to interact with Augur or any other dApp on the Ethereum blockchain. Specifically for Augur, you'll be using MetaMask to buy shares of an outcome to actually buy predictions. So now that you have MetaMask, it's Augur time. Head over to Augur and download the application. We will include a link to the download page. Make sure you select the correct file for your operating system. Once you have it downloaded, launch the application and select mainnet from the dropdown. The other options are just simply different types of test nets where you can experiment with free ether essentially, ether that has no monetary value, fake ether or faucet ether. These networks are used to test out Augur before the mainnet launch, but you can also play around with fake ether on this network to kind of get an idea how Augur works. So if you don't want to jump in immediately, you might want to mess around in the test net because there's no risk there. All you have to do is just make sure that the network you're on for MetaMask matches the network you're using with Augur. If you're on the main net for Augur, you got to use the main net for MetaMask, otherwise the transactions won't work. So when you're ready for the real thing, select the main net. However, you won't be able to access the application immediately, most likely, because you are going to have to sync with the blockchain. For us, it took about a half hour and not too long, so just set it, forget it for a little bit, come back to it, and once you get to about 99.5%, it's good enough, you'll have the option to launch the mainnet. You'll be connected to a node and you can either input a node address, but I'll use the default right over there, and we're in. And here it takes you to your homepage where you can see all the categories of the different prediction markets. And there you can see there are plenty. You're looking at sports, weather, politics, uh, celebrities, pretty much any market that you can think of you can create and we'll actually demonstrate that in a second. So let's go over to cryptocurrency to show you how to buy shares. This is an interesting one that caught my eye and not just because it was the first one that came up and it basically is asking, will Ether hit $500 at the end of the year? You could see the share breakdown over there, but in order to buy shares, you actually have to click on the market to see what's going on. So one thing that you should really know about Augur when looking at the order book, the price of a share is actually analogous to the probability. So if the price is 0.7, they're saying that has a 70% chance of that event occurring. Let's say you got it at that price and that event did occur, you would get the remaining 0.3 that's on the other side of the market. So all this is saying there's a 70% chance of an event happening, and then there's, of course, a 30% chance of it not happening. Simple probability. So just to reiterate, if you buy shares at a certain price and that event occurs, you'll receive the difference between that value you bought at and one. So let's say you're going for a long shot, something that has a 10% chance, and you hit on that, you're gonna get the 90% of the market that was on the other side and on the wrong prediction. So just like gambling, it might make sense to go for those long shots because there's higher reward, but of course, more risk. 
So let's say I have an opinion on this market. I think that yes, Ether is going to exceed $500 at the end of the year. So what I wanna do is click the best price, put in how much Ether I want and simply execute a transaction and you'll get those shares which can actually be found in your market tab. So you can keep track of your bets. Augur uses its own cryptocurrency, however, it's built on the Ethereum blockchain and they do use Ether to settle bets. So people can buy shares in Ether or sell shares in Ether and bets are settled in Ether. However, people create markets by staking rep. Also, if there's a dispute, you can stake your rep on whichever side of the event you believe occurred. And if that's accurate, you will get the other side's stake. So rep is basically used for staking. Bets are settled in Ether. But once you kind of get an idea of what these intimidating order book things are, it's not so scary. It wasn't that hard to send that transaction. Again, just select the price that you're buying on, select the amount of shares, execute the transaction through MetaMask. These markets are always liquid, so if you want to hedge your bet, you can sell some of your shares or even end up on the other side of the market if you change your mind. So let's get into creating a market. And like we said earlier, you must stake a certain amount of rep to create a market. However, that stake is returned once the market is settled. Think of it as collateral or a deposit. You'll get it back once the result is reported and the market is settled. So you can potentially passively stake rep by creating markets, collect that fee, report an accurate result, and profit. Just repeat after that. So the specific market that we're going to create today is will the Chicago Cubs win the 2018 World Series? It's a yes, no question, we can select that. However, you can use multiple choice, probability. They have pretty much tools to set you up for any market you desire, but yes, no markets are the easiest and most clear to set up, so that's what we're going to do. After we create this market, the first thing that we're going to do is select a source. We have to know a source that's going to report the accurate results so we know where to look to when it's time to sell the market. Results have to be clear and empirical, so a source has to be selected as the official information that will determine the result of an outcome. And this really helps with dispute resolution. If there's an issue, we know exactly where to go to get the answer. You can actually select who reports the event. On default, it's you. However, you can appoint someone else. At this point, you select the reporter, which can be you if you want someone else to deal with it or there's a conflict of interest possibly. You could select someone else, but let's say you do select you so and a market creator who is supposed to act as a reporter goes missing, a rep fee has to be paid. It has to be staked to a surrogate who will then settle the market. So the inevitable question that always comes up when talking about prediction markets is how do you settle disputes? So if a market's event occurs and there's a dispute in the result, the market will be frozen for a period of seven days. At this point, users can stake rep on their interpretation of the outcome. The staking is considered a form of voting. The idea is that nobody's going to risk losing the rep by reporting a bad result. So after a week, the market is settled and the stakers of rep on the correct side of the outcome get the amount of rep staked on the inaccurate outcome. So people pushing false results end up losing their staked rep. And that's our short walkthrough in Augur. I know it was kind of brief and we went over the surface. So if you have any questions, throw those down below in the comments. While you're there, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you miss out on any of our future awesome walkthroughs that are very informative, I've heard. Head over to Blockchain WTF for all your cryptocurrency and blockchain information needs. I'm Jeremy from Blockchain WTF, and I will see you next time.